right, so back to this. Um, yeah, this is actually the third video for today, and I guess uh, because of that, right, you can kind of see uh, why I chose the topic that I did, right, or why the topic makes sense in that context, because this is kind of a detour from what I have been uh, touching on, right? Again, just going back to the old playlist, right? The old, uh, seeing how many videos I have in there, right? Uh, just clicking on it. Uh, well, 29, but again, right, I've been going, the first three of my most recent videos, right, uh, of the black screen videos, right? Again, I'm all focused on kind of very specific points in the story, right? And, again, mainly very specific points within the story. The rest of them kind of focused on more, again, still, like, again, like, I'd say, like, uh, points within the story, right? Or still, well, I guess, specific points within the story. But as opposed to being a specific time or specific elements of the story, I should say, Rather than, again, the first three focusing on specific points at a specific time, the rest of them and what I moved on to from Miraculous Abilities list onward focused more so on specific elements, but spanned across, uh, basically, you know, the whole story, right? So, again. But this, again, is kind of a complete detour from where I've been going, again, because I've been hanging in the direction, and eventually... When I do start make, when I do eventually make the late Bungie Chat Noir No Longer Friends video, that's kind of the start of the slope downward, which would end, which uh, ends off at uh, basically the PV, right? And talking about the PV, because that's kind of where I want to end uh, these types of videos, right? That I'm making, or these kinds of videos. I want to end them with the uh, PV. So again, that's something to where it's like, in terms of that, uh, that's where that'll end up going. But in the meantime, right, and especially since I already recorded two videos today, this is just something that I wanted to talk about, right, as it's kind of, again, a detour and an odd one out, right? I anticipate for the future ones they make or the next ones that I make, they won't uh, they won't be like this. They'll be like the ones that I have been making, right? Like White Hawk Monster No Longer Deal Adrian is a Victim, Luca Desert Marinette, The Degradation of Chloe's Character, Felix Lyle's replacement gave Muriel and Natalie a complicated relationship all month in the future and the oversaturation of Miraculous Horrors, right? I guess, I honestly don't know, maybe I end up talking about, I guess, deleted timelines or something. Uh, I could talk about, like, deleted timelines and why I'm so adverse into actually using them, because I think as of now, there's, like, at least two or three, like, deleted timelines on top of the future timeline which is, again, all on top of the current timeline, basically the timeline that the show takes place in, right? So, again, I can talk about that. I can talk about, you know... Well, I actually kind of talked about it in my other... I probably won't talk about the whole love square thing, right? I I'm going to stay away from that portion of the show because I actually think that's something I covered decently. I mean, I, that's one thing I talked about in terms of my... Uh, like, because, again, obviously, way back when, right, when it was just season one, people treated each corner of the love square as different, right? I was always an internet uh, person, right? I think you can go back to, like, my original season one and two compares, like, my very first video, I probably mentioned it somewhere, right? But then again, that's something to where it's like, I think I mentioned that in my season two improvements, because that was one of the big things, was that they shifted away from that by introducing, like, other people like Luca and Kagami. Uh, but then again, right, besides that, uh, that's something to where it's like, I, I, I don't think I really want to touch on that. That's not exactly something I'm super interested in. And I believe I already touched on it in the past. So I may end up touching on other stuff such as like the role Master Fu plays, right? Or played past tense, right? When he was the guardian. So that's something to where it's like, I can touch. I, I want to make many videos, right? Like I want to ultimately, before I get into the whole, because I already know what the video is going to be, right? It'll be Le Bon Chet Noir, No Longer Friends. You know, it'll be there, then it'll be comparing them to their PV version, then it'll be talking about the PV and how, you know, how that's kind of what we should have gotten and how much more interesting that would have been. But there are, there's other stuff I want to talk about. Like, again, this video, which I'll get into shortly, because it shouldn't take too long. It, it, it'll probably be like 10 minutes, like 10, 15. It'll, it'll be short, a short video, like why the reveal doesn't matter. Uh, but I do want to talk about, let's say, uh, again, I want to talk about, well, I guess I mentioned uh, Master Fu, but... I also want to talk about, um, shoot, what, I, I just brought something up, and I completely fucking forgot about it, right, 
Like it just went, all right, the timelines, right? I want to talk about like the timelines. Um, well, actually, I don't even need to do that because I already made a whole video specifically regarding that, right? So, or well, that's that only touched on the future timeline, current timeline, not like deleted timelines. So I can talk about deleted timelines. Um, well, I mean, honestly, I'm not even going to do that because I already touched on that and the reveal doesn't matter. So those two videos, you know, future time and problems with the current timeline where I talk about Alex and Bunnings and then why the reveal doesn't matter where I talk about it being a deleted timeline. Honestly, so I won't end up talking about that. But I'll talk end up talking about like characters such as like I want to talk about Master Fu. Uh, I want to talk about Alia. Um, don't really want to talk about Kagami. Um <laughs> Reason being, I just kind of, I, I don't like her character, like, like, I mean, I like Luca's character, I just don't like her character, and I, I kind of talked about it in the Luca video, right, comparing Luca to Kagami, so I'm not gonna make a separate video, but I will likely end up in making a video on, like, Master Fu, let's say, uh, Alia, you know, specifically her, right, not even really Nino, because, again, Alia's in, again, an extremely, like, special position, right, so that's something to where it's, like, at least in terms of that, I still want to make those two uh, before I get into, like, at the very least, before I get into the whole Leiva and Shen one on one with friends. But again, moving on, right? That's something to where it's like, I think it's about time I, f like, again, it's been six minutes, so I should finally address this video right again. I'm only recording this because it's the third video of the day. And this is kind of like, it's kind of like the Why the Reveal Doesn't Matter video. It shouldn't be as long. It's mainly just because I need to get a point across, right? And that's kind of what I'm going to talk about now. And again, talking about the video title, right? So the video title, right? Miraculous Ladybug, like, um, like quality control doesn't matter, right? And the reason being that I've been seeing a lot more videos, kind of like Again, because my main motive for making the Why They Revealed Doesn't Matter video was because that's how I knew that episode had came out. People were spamming about it, like, talking about their reveal, and I watched it, and I'm like, it literally doesn't matter. It's a fucking deleted timeline, right? It doesn't exist. This is kind of something similar. I've been seeing quality control issues, specifically regarding season four, funny enough. Uh, the only time I'm, I saw it was in the one episode uh, where like her mother gets akumatized right or like lady justice or whatever i don't even remember what uh uh the fucking name was right but again that's the only one i know is but again i've been seeing these videos like everywhere it's literally like spamming it's like again the whole quality control videos right and specifically regarding season four funny enough right which to me is kind of funny and kind of hilarious because season four had the best quality out of you know the other seasons at least from what i watched right and this kind of what I want to get into, right? And that's kind of why, the, the, the reason why the title posits it is a question uh, is because, again, the answer, for me at least, is no. For me, that's something to where quality control really doesn't matter, at least when it comes to, like, let's say, the overall story. Because here's the thing, right? First, besides it being funny that people are making all these quality control, people are claiming, like, quality control on season four, which is, like, again, <laughs> some of the highest quality, right? uh the right and then my so besides that right my personal favorite is season two and that has arguably some of the worst quality control one of my favorite episodes dark owl has the fucking worst like it's actually unironically i think the worst episode in terms of quality control it's so fucking bad like you can type up youtube type up miraculously but dark dark owl right uh you know the episode right and like again you can see just the quality control and how fucking bad it is specifically with Hawkmon you can just see how fucking bad it is in that episode right like I I really can't stress it enough right how terrible the quality control was in that episode right it's just awful like awful terrible like like Hawk Moth looks terrible it just like, I can't stress enough, just, it's, like, unironically, probably, the, like, the seasons had 100 episodes, right? Or the show's had 100 plus episodes. It's probably in the top five worst, at least. If not, just the worst. But it's one of the worst episodes in terms of quality control. But it's one of, some, one of my favorite, right? Uh, and the reason for that being, again, right, it's got a good story and plot to it, right? You know, that, it's something where it's like, for 
I mean, again, it's noticeable, right? And funny thing, the only, like I said, the only one I noticed in season four was the one where her mother got akumatized, right? And it was like Princess Justice or whatever, right? Um, or Lady Justice, or I don't even remember what it was called, right? Or what the name was. But that was the only one I noticed in season four. In season two, it was completely fucking apparent, right? Like, especially midway through, and especially with that one. That, you know, there were some issues on that, regarding that, right? But again... Season 2 is my favorite, and Dark Owl is one of my favorite episodes. Why? Because, you know, it has a good fucking story, right? A good plot. Like, keeps you hooked and intrigued. Like, again, th that's... It, I, like, I don't know how else to put it, other than it was just good, at least when it came to that. So I was willing to forego the quality issues, right? Because it's something where it's... Again, it was interesting. It's one of my favorite, right? Let's compare that to the episode where Chloe got comatized. Okay, there's no real quality control issues, but it's a like the episode i was basically sleeping right like i hate to say it but it's like again it's just not good right but like again one of the worst episodes in terms of quality control it's one of the most interesting in terms of like actually being like entertaining so that's something where it's like again just i, I kind of can't stress enough that you know it, it like when and especially when people complain about quality control in season four it's like Come on, it really wasn't... Not only was it really not that apparent, but compared to, like, fuck... I don't know why they're making quality control in season four. Maybe they just don't like the season. Like, I mean, I wouldn't say I was a fan of season four. I mean, but I'm not gonna say some shit like, oh, the quality of the animation was terrible, right? You know? No, that's just being delusional, right? I mean, season two is, was fucking awful, but I still... That's still my favorite season. It's like... Again, that's something to where it's like again like the people claiming quality control for season four it's like i i don't know what they're saying because it's like it's better than you know what was before right like i just don't know how to put it, but again right that's just something this is just i, I just want to make this as kind of like a quick little video just again since it's the third video of the day so you know it's uh 1 13 a.m right need to go to sleep soon so i, I want to just make a quick video on this Honestly, probably not going to make the deleted timelines video. I mean, I already made the future timeline problems with the current timeline video. And then I already made the why the reveal doesn't matter, which basically touches on the fact that it's a deleted timeline, right? And I talked about deleted timelines. Uh, but then again, that's something to where it's like, uh, at least in terms of that, you know, when it comes to the next videos I'm going to make, however, I do anticipate I'll probably end up making... I was thinking of doing, like, a character rewrite series where I basically go through each character and rewrite them how I would. But that would be, like, probably... It would probably be post the entire show. So I wouldn't do it now. I'd focus on uh, the stuff that I have been talking about, right? I mean, a lot of it has been on a character specifically, right? Again, I have the Hawkmoth's No Longer Redeemable where I go over Gabriel, right? Or Hawkmoth. I have the Adrian's Victim where I go over him. I have Luca Deserve Marinette where I go over Luca and even compare him to Kagami, right? Uh, and then I have the Degradation of Chloe's character where I go over Chloe, right? And then Felix's Lies Replacement, I go over those two, right? And how that's basically what he's Then I go over Gabe, Gabriel and Ellie, complicated relationship, going over kind of okay, if Hawk wants no longer a deal, what was that make her? Then I go over the Hawk want in the future. That was one I wanted to make because, again, right, it's just, for me, it's just interesting in terms of, uh, yeah, because especially after season four, uh, we it seems like we have two new potential candidates for who that could be. Then again, the oversaturation of Miraculous Horse. And then just that touches on more, like, general issues regarding why the fuck are there 17 people who have, he who's the Miraculous in season four, right? I guess they correct it at the end, but again, that seems like a temporary band-aid fix as opposed to, you know, anything else, right? But again, but so I wanted to make this video on quality control, because I really, just being entirely honest and kind of wrapping this up, I really don't think it's an issue. I mean, it was way fucking worse in season two, and I enjoyed season two more. Like, it's my favorite season, so it, it doesn't fucking matter. I think the people who talk about or complain about in season four, like, they're missing the point. Season four had more issues regarding writing and the show just having god-awful writing. But, like, the quality control is not a fucking issue, right? That's not what the warrior concern is, but... Yeah, moving forward in terms of videos I'm going to make, I will probably end up making the Master Fu and Alia video, right? Because those two are very interesting characters. Uh, they haven't made them on yet. I don't think I'll really make them on anything else. I'm not even making the uh, Kagami video because I just talked about her and the Luka video and kind of the difference between the two. But I'll make those two. Then I'll then I'll probably start likely making like the Blade Bunk Chat Noir No Longer Friends video. 
Uh, and then again, delve into like comparing what we got to the PV and how, and then make a separate video on, you know, how the PV, like how the people would have looked and like how, or, or just like how it would have been better, basically, you know, uh, what it would have looked like if we ended up getting the PV. But again, right, you know, I still have a lot of stuff I could talk about in terms of this, right? Like just looking back, I could talk about, um, you know, I could end up talking about, let's say like, Again, the specials. I still haven't talked about the specials. I could talk about, again, I plan on making an episode on the finale at some point, right? And just talking about that kind of, those kind of implications. Well, I guess I kind of did in terms of the Hawk Moth Can Win video, right? Just basically talk about how, you know, he fucking uh, just basically wins, right? I mean, like, like, I don't know how to put it. If he's the second dumbest person in the world, he still wins. But I can talk more about story implications, right? Regarding just him winning. Um, again, right? And then that's something to where it's like, I can also talk about, again, I'll also probably end up talking about Hunter's special deleted timeline and then whatever Felix episode. Um, again, something where it's like, there's plenty of more I can cover, right? Especially since I've moved to these kinds of videos where I just talk about a specific topic, whether at a specific point or across the whole season. No more, you know, hour, two hour, three hour long videos of me basically, uh, of me basically, right, going over through, like, the entire fucking story, basically, right? Again, to, like, I feel like it's really telling when my video, season three, what should have happened, is fucking three hours long, right? At some point, I'm gonna watch through the whole thing, right? And my season four and five predictions is, uh, two hours, so I'm definitely not, like, going through that and reacting to that, right? Like, I kind of did my season three predictions, right? But again, that's something to where it's, like, in terms of that, right, uh, again, and then what we still don't know being an hour and 17, season three mistakes being an hour 22, right? And then again, the theme's an easiest way to leave me to figure out their identity, like being an hour 44. Like the last five videos I made before these like black screen videos, uh, I think they amount to like what? So three hours, two hours, five hours, uh, eight hours, like nine hours in my five videos for my five videos so but yeah again right i'm i'm no longer doing that i'm sticking to these kind of like new blast screen type videos and i said i won't get back into mlb but looks like here i am just like you know fucking this show this show this goddamn show i started watching in what 2016 when it first came out i was these people's like the age of the people in the show when it first fucking came out right it's actually hilarious like i was a sophomore in high school when the show came out right now i'm a fucking senior graduating college in like two months it's actually pretty hilarious uh again but i'm sinking with the ship right you know at this point you know i'm a i'm a completionist i'm going down with the ship at this point i want to see where this fucking show ends up right i'm just i'm not, I'm not uh i'm not giving up right until it's over so but who knows right who knows again that's something to where it's like yeah i mean doing more of these types of videos to me makes uh, more sense right especially since i did the same for basically all the fnaf videos right i mean however many uh fnaf videos right wow updated five days ago huh that's actually recent oh that was the indie horse in here fall but again right but now i'm making all these mlb videos so but again I've, there's plenty more off to make I'll, I'll assume i'll be at at least around 40 videos by the end of this if not 45 potentially even 50 but who knows right uh, but yeah, again, I'd say the next video is most likely going to end up being the Master Food and Alia video. But besides that, I'm going to end it here. So I don't have anything, anything else to say. Really just, again, at the end of the day, I really don't think quality controls the issue. Unless season five is just terrible. Like it reverts back to season two. Okay, maybe it becomes an issue. But I, I really think that's kind of missing the point, right? But yeah, I'm going to end it here. I don't have anything else to say. So I'm just going to end it. So, yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.